Hey guys, welcome to the lesson. Thanks for watching. And if you like it, remember, tell your friends. So in this video, you will learn how to use all the phrasal verbs that contain the verb fuck. First, I'll show you a short story uh, that I call Alex's Missed Fucking Ventures. Then, I'll explain the meanings of the phrasal verbs that you hear in the video. And uh, finally, you'll have a few fucking exercises. Enjoy. This is my friend Alex. Hi. He has recently been dumped by his girlfriend. He was fucking around on her. Player got what he deserved. Uh -huh. He has decided that tonight is the night for him to get back on giggity, the prowl. Giggity. Giggity, giggity. He's going out to a bar to try and pick someone up. Let's tag along, shall we? Hi. What will you have? What's on tap? Beer, beer, beer and beer. I'll have a beer. Here you go. That'll be five dollars. Have you been sitting in sugar? Cause damn, that's a sweet ass. Fuck off, loser. That'll be five dollars. I've already paid. I left my money on the bar. What are you talking about? I thought you took it already. Don't fuck around with me, man. I'm not fucking with you, man. I put the money right there. It's not my fault if you didn't take it. Look, give me five bucks or get the fuck out. Fucking hell, here's your money, man. All right, and watch the language. Sorry, buddy. What the fuck, man? It's crowded. I bumped into you accidentally. You made me spill my drink. Oh, come on. Calm the fuck down. Listen, I'll buy you another beer. All right, all right, but pay for my dry cleaning too, or I'll fuck you up. Sure. I got something in my pocket for you. Hold on a sec. Ah, here it is. Fuck you and fuck off with your fucking fuckery, you fucktard. Both of you chuckleheads, get the fuck out of here. Here is uh, what, in my opinion, is the most useful phrasal verb. Fuck off. It is used to tell someone to go away when you are angry or annoyed with them. Remember, in the video, after Alex told Jen that she had a sweet ass, she said, Fuck off, loser. Next, fuck with. To fuck with someone is to annoy them or make them angry, especially by joking around with them or telling them things that are not true. Remember when the bartender got annoyed with Alex and accused him of stealing the money? Alex said, I'm not fucking with you, man. He did this to tell the bartender that he wasn't lying in order to cause problems for the bartender. Next, fuck up. This one has several meanings. First, it means to seriously hurt someone physically. Remember that asshole in the bar? He said, I'll fuck you up. This means that uh, he was threatening to hurt Alex very badly. Fuck up can also mean to cause someone to be intoxicated or high. For example, <laughs> the free tequila shots fuck these chicks up. It can also mean to make someone so unhappy or confused that they cannot deal with their emotions or live normally. For example, losing my job really fucked me up. I didn't know what to do. Finally, it can mean to ruin or destroy something, especially uh, to destroy a machine or to ruin a job or task that you are working on. For example, Charlie fucked up that monitor good. Or, oh, I fucked up my test. I didn't get a single answer right. Next we have, fuck around. Again, this one has several meanings. First, it can mean to make someone angry or annoyed by wasting their time or causing problems for them. Do you remember when Alex told the bartender that he had already paid? The bartender said, Don't fuck around with me, man. Fuck around can also mean to waste time instead of working, or to uh, not do a task very well. For example, 
Aw, oh, I failed my test cause all I did was fuck around on the internet all night. Finally, it can mean to have sex outside of a supposedly monogamous relationship. You'll remember, you'll remember, the narrator said, He was fucking around on her. Finally, here's one that uh, wasn't in the story. I couldn't think of a way to work it in naturally, so I'll just tell you about it. The phrasal verb is, fuck over. It means to treat someone very badly, especially to take advantage of them, or to betray them. For example, ha, I got you drunk and stole your money, asshole. I really fucked you over good. Okay, now it's time for the uh, fucking exercises. There'll be 10 questions in all, and the answers will be available at the end. After the timer counts down, I'll switch to the next five questions. Well, that's it for this video. Remember to subscribe if, if you like it, and uh, again, please, tell your friends.